Hi, today we are going to be looking at customizing your instrument. So of course we have all these presets, and you know what, they are awesome, I love these presets. But sometimes there's a note that we are trying to get a sound, and we just can't get it down right. Let's say we have a note that just doesn't sound right and we want it to sound a little bit different. Well, let's go through here. Here's a good example of a note that sounds awesome, but we wouldn't want it to sound like that in our song, maybe. Take a listen. So, it sounds a little long. Let's say we want to make it like... It sounds a little bit long, doesn't it? So we can shorten this song with a fade in and fade out. It's pretty self-explanatory, so if you do this, it will fade out. If you do this, it will fade in. So, it's pretty easy to understand. If you go past here, it makes the note very short. If you go here, it makes it decently short, and any longer than that, it's going to have a little drop-off. I don't really understand this algorithm thing. I usually don't really touch it. <laughs> uh, feedback, also something I don't really touch. Um, note filter, you can just mess with this and make your notes sound funny. Here. <laughs> That's pretty funny sounding. You can also use these frequencies. And so you can change how your note sounds. Always play around with these. If you are trying to get a specific sound, they are always so much fun. And hey, that sounds a lot like the note that I was looking for, doesn't it? Now, I hope that makes a little sense. Let's, let's reset this to something a little simpler. Let's go to the electric ramp. The, the, you can see we also have these waves in unison. What the heck does that mean? Well, the waves here are for the 8-bit presets and for the 8-bit notes. So, each one of these is a higher pulse than the other, the rounded being one of the most simple. It sounds pretty nice. And then you have the triangle. Square. The one-fourth pulse. One-eighth pulse. Sawtooth. Double saw. Double pulse. And finally, the spiky. I think these are all really nice sounding now, guys. And they can be used for any song that you are interested in. Now, what is unison? Well, unison is a little bit different. So when a note is on top of another one, like this, you can hear right now, they're playing at the same time. But maybe we don't want another effect added on. So these are just the two notes placed on top of each other. If we do shimmer as before, it will shimmer a little bit. Listen. Cute, right? We got hum. That's pretty nice. Honky tonk. I love this one, but it's not really great for all the songs I make. But I love how it sounds. <laughs> um, got dissonant. This works well if you're making a scary sound. Yeah. The fifth, so this will go up to the fifth notes. It's pretty cute, I like that. Octave, this will play um, a lot of the same notes in the same octave at the same time with the two notes that you chose. So, that's pretty nice. Bowed. I don't really know what that is. And piano. Which is a lot like the nun preset, but a little bit different. These are pretty awesome. What? But what's the difference between unison and chord type? Well, there's a little bit of difference. So, when you put in these two notes, you can choose the unison, but the chords will affect how they sound together and what order they play. That's right, what order they play in your song. So, if we do strum, we can see that this one is number two, but 
But if we touch this one again, it will be two. It will, the top one will be one, and the bottom will be two. And it will sound like this. And so they would play slightly delayed of each other. This is great if you're making something like a guitar or a ukulele or other stringed instruments that use your that you use your hand to strum. Um, the simultaneous speaks for itself. Custom interval. I'm not quite sure what this is, but it's pretty cool. Arpeggio is one of the funnier ones. So arpeggio, what you do. So you place these two notes, and what they do is that they, uh... <laughs> they do that. They wave, they waver within one another, and it sounds like a pulse. At the beginning, when I was using beatbox, this was the only preset that would be used for the 8 bits. I'm so glad it's not anymore. But it's a pretty awesome instrument. Or, I guess a chord. That's, so those are some of the things you can use here. Ooh, I have the hiccups. <laughs> okay, see you later.